name is Nate Wood, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Family Sciences at the University of Kentucky. And this video introduction is to give you a little bit of background on my article entitled Location, 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 Applying Spatial Statistics to the Relationship Landscape. For several years I've been trying to figure out a way to better deal with couple data. Our relationships, our intimate relationships, are the most meaningful relationships we can have in our life. And we, for years, we've had uh, assessments, um, the revised dyadic adjustment scale, the dyadic adjustment scale, uh, marital adjustment uh, test, marital assessment test. So we've had a lot of methods, but historically, we've either added scores together, so a husband and wife add them, add them up together, or we take an average. And that was just dissatisfying to me because we, we lose differences between couples experiences and, and their perceptions and their perspectives and, and by mushing them all together like that and our statistical assumptions we have for our traditional statistics um, that we can't put in husband and wife separately although there has been some recent uh, models like APIM and whatnot um, so I was on the search and as part of that search, I ended up publishing an article in 2012 with uh, Dr. Chris Crawford, who's a nuclear physicist, uh, also here at the University of Kentucky. And I had some crazy ideas, and we ended up, out of our, out of our collaboration, plotting couple scores on a two-dimensional plane, just like a map of longitude and latitude. And this article, Now in Family Process, is a conceptual overview of a statistical uh, class of actually uh, class of statistical procedures that uses spatial statistics or geospatial statistics to analyze a relationship landscape. And the great thing about this approach is by using husband and wife as latitude and longitude essentially, by using our scores on our assessment, we can create a relationship address and and we'll be able to locate where does this couple emotionally live um, in their on um, the relationship landscape the thing i'm most excited about with this not only do we have a visual method that maintains partner differences and differences between couples we also have an, an automatically applied method because hopefully someday as we get more models and research using spatial models with couple data we're going to be able to give a researcher or a clinician or a family life educator a map so they can see who the couple where where does the couple live that's standing right in front of them where do they live on this map and maybe we can have some insights into who that couple is and what they're kind of experiencing similar to other couples that live in those same kind of neighborhoods i'm really excited about this uh, i hope you read it and again it's going to be in fam it's in family process uh, Go ahead and click on their link and go see some of their other great articles they have there as well. Thank you so much. Have a great day.